What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I wanna show you how to upgrade or swap out your current power supply for a new power supply. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, make sure your computer is off and make sure there's no static electricity. So yeah, let's go ahead and remove this back cover and I'll show you how I personally tackle this job my own way. First thing I want you to do, take a few pictures. You can always delete the photos. Basically what you're looking for is how everything is currently plugged in. So take pictures of your motherboard, your entire case. That way it makes it so much easier for you when it's time to put this thing back together. So before unplugging anything, what I prefer to do is take off these four screws that are holding the power supply and if possible remove that power supply outside of the case so sometimes you're gonna have to loosen up some of these cables and just try to get it out if you have any zip ties or anything cut those off and just try to get everything to a manageable place without having too much of a rat's nest like I do <laughs> So what I'm gonna do now is get my other power supply out of the box. So here's my other power supply. And as you can see, it is a fully modular system. And then mine has this little case with all of the cables that would plug into the back here. And a lot of power supplies will label all of their cables. Like this one says CPU. If your new power supply came with all the cables already attached, then you don't have to, you know, connect these yourself, but um, I'm upgrading from this to this, so that's what I have. So now what I'm gonna try to do is move these out of the way. And what I wanna do is get this power supply in the slot now, so that way it's just gonna be a little bit easier for me to work. So there it is. And now let's go ahead and get these screws in. And these are the cables right here for the new power supply. And these are the old ones. And basically this is how we would do this. I would find, for example, this cable comes off of this power supply. This is my 24 pin plugging into my cable extension. So I would unplug that and plug in the new one. The other option is assuming you don't have some cable extensions, you would unplug your cables from your motherboard, just like that. This 24 pin cable, for example, you would need to wiggle it up and down while pressing this little lever right here and pull it out. And then you would bring in your new cable and you would just plug it in and push down with a decent amount of pressure, but don't put too much. Just try to wiggle it in more than anything. And then that would be done. Next would be your GPU cables. You would grab the lever on this GPU, the lever to uh, release these cables are on the bottom. Sometimes they're on the top, it depends on the GPU. These are on the bottom, so press the lever and hold firmly and then try to wiggle and it should come out. Again, try to wiggle and it should come out. And then from your new power supply, you would bring in your new cables. And then these split right here, as you can see. So if you need a six pin, like you see right here on this GPU, you would split it and then just leave that one unplugged. And then you just plug it in like normal. So you'd plug the six pin in and then just push firmly. And then you would just hide this little cable somewhere. And then you would bring in your other cable. And obviously this one is eight pin. So if you have two like I do, you'd bring in your other cable and plug it in the same way. And then on this PC specifically, I do have this all-in-one cooler radiator up here, which is blocking access to my CPU cables, which are up here. So what I'm gonna have to do is loosen the, the screws that hold the radiator to the top here. And I'll do that now and I'll show you. If I remove this, this little mesh, you can see here there are screws holding my radiator in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Once most of them are removed, I will hold it and remove the final screws and I'll let it sort of rest down here. There are still fan cables and stuff connected and I don't want to yank at this, but I can leave it here just to, just to like chill out. And now, as you can see here, there is two connectors for my CPU cables. 
These plug in very similar to your GPU cables. So they have a little tiny lever on the, on the top of them. And if you push them down and wiggle them around, they should just pop out just like that. Now I've got that completely removed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my first one. And again, these do split into fours, but uh, for me, I need to keep them together because I have two eight pins. Your PC might have a eight pin and a four pin, or it could have just one eight pin. So it's up to you to determine what you have and how you need to split these, or if they just all go in at the same time. So for me, I have two eight pins, so I'm gonna wiggle them into place and you don't really hear much of a snap but what i like to do afterwards is give them a little tug and a wiggle to make sure that they are locked in and those are now completely plugged in now i can go ahead and screw my radiator back in place and then i'll continue plugging everything else in as i go along i like to remove the old cables and put them to the side so i know that i've already done those now the final thing for my PC, I have this SATA connection right here that is powering my RGB fans. So I'm gonna unplug that, move that to the side, and now take my new SATA connector from my new power supply. That's how they look. They have like this little L shape right there. And all you gotta do is line up that L shape and plug it in just like that. And now, as you can see, we got the old power supply with all of its cables removed. So to me, that's the easiest way of doing that. You basically just want to use a sort of process of elimination. Unplug one thing, grab it from your new power supply, plug it in right away. So that way you're not forgetting what you plugged in, what you didn't. And all this extra cable, now you can tuck it away somewhere, do your cable management, or just shove everything to the back here. So as you can tell, I spent like two minutes just real quick doing that let's make sure this back cover still fits and there we go fully done now would be a good time to just triple check everything make sure everything is fully seated fully plugged in really well and then go ahead and plug it in turn on your power supply and press the button make sure everything still works if everything worked before this and something's not working now just double check all of your other connectors because sometimes you can accidentally unplug something that wasn't necessarily supposed to be unplugged but otherwise that is the basics overall how to swap out your power supply in your PC. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Now, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.